The human brain is the most complex and powerful organ in the human body, and it has made us the most advanced species on Earth. It is responsible for our ability to think, reason, learn, create, and interact with the world around us. However, there are a few extraordinary characteristics that separate the human brain from every other creature on the planet. In this video, we will explore the top five things that separates the human brain from every other creature. The unparalleled gift of linguistic speech. The ability to communicate through language is what sets humans apart from other species. But have you ever wondered how our brain makes this possible? Scientists have long studied the brain to understand the neural mechanisms behind language, and they have identified several key brain regions that are crucial for language processing. The Broca's area, located in the frontal lobe, is responsible for the production of speech. It enables us to form the words we want to say and organize them in a meaningful way. The Wernix area, located in the temporal lobe, is responsible for language comprehension. It allows us to understand the words we hear and assign meaning to them. But language isn't just about speaking and listening. It also involves the ability to read and write. And the brain's occipital and temporal lobes play a crucial role in this aspect of language. These brain regions work together in a coordinated manner to allow us to communicate in the most sophisticated and nuanced way. And as we continue to study the brain, we are constantly learning more about how its structure supports this amazing ability. From the earliest human civilizations to the most technologically advanced, language has been the backbone of our societies. And it is thanks to the intricate structure of the human brain that we have this ability. The ability to create imagination. Our ability to imagine allows us to dream up new worlds, invent new technologies, and create works of art that moves us to the core. But where does this remarkable ability come from? Scientists have long studied the brain to understand the neural mechanisms behind imagination, and they have identified several key brain regions that are crucial for imagination. There seem to be specific sections of the brain that work together to create mental representations of objects, scenes, and experiences that are not currently present in the individual's environment. The prefrontal cortex, located at the front of the brain, is responsible for executive functions, such as planning and decision-making, and it plays a major role in generating creative ideas. The temporal lobes, located at the sides of the brain, are responsible for visual and auditory memory, and it is also where the brain stores sensory experiences, allowing us to use them to build new mental images. The parietal lobes, located at the top rear part of the brain, are responsible for integrating information from various senses, and it plays a role in spatial awareness, which is crucial in creating mental images. These brain regions work together in a coordinated manner to allow us to generate new ideas, create new realities, and express ourselves in ways that inspire and move others. And as we continue to study the brain, we are constantly learning more about how its structure supports this amazing ability. From ancient cave paintings to the most technologically advanced virtual worlds, imagination has been the backbone of our societies and it is thanks to the intricate structure of the human brain that we have this ability. Self-awareness. Gaining a sense of oneself as a unique individual with their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences is supported by a network of brain regions. The medial prefrontal cortex is an essential area for self-awareness as it oversees and assimilates incoming information from various sources to form a unified representation of oneself. This region also connects to other significant brain regions such as the default mode network and the insula, both of which are important for self-awareness. The default mode network is active in a state of rest and is involved with self-referential thinking, daydreaming, and imagining oneself in different situations. 
The insole oversees monitoring internal body states, such as sensations and emotions, and how they interact with other cognitive and emotional processes. The temporoparietal junction also plays a crucial role in self-awareness by allowing one to differentiate between themselves and others, as well as comprehending the perspective of others. All these regions come together to form a comprehensive understanding of the self. Problem Solving Problem solving is an exciting cognitive process that involves comprehending a challenge, coming up with potential solutions, and selecting an appropriate route to achieve a desirable result. It is believed that the brain's capacity to tackle problems is sustained by a group of areas that are associated with several cognitive processes such as perception, memory, focus, and deduction. The prefrontal cortex, a pivotal region in problem solving, is involved in working memory, attention, and executive function, which encompasses the aptitude to design, initiate, and manage conduct. The prefrontal cortex additionally collaborates with other brain regions such as the parietal lobes and the anterior cingulate cortex. The parietal lobes, located in the back upper part of the brain, is accountable for integrating data from various senses, for example, vision, touch, and movement, and it has a role in spatial consciousness, which is critical in problem solving related to visual spatial tasks. The anterior cingulate cortex, situated in the medial aspect of the prefrontal cortex, is involved in attention, decision-making, and conflict resolution. It is related to keeping track of the progress and outcome of a task and settling disputes between different response options. The hippocampus, a region deep in the brain that is significant in memory, is involved in problem solving by permitting individuals to recall past experiences and apply that knowledge to novel situations. The various regions work in harmony to empower the individual to perceive, represent, manipulate, and recollect information and utilize it to generate solutions and make decisions. Empathy Understanding the thoughts, feelings, and experiences of others requires an intricate network of brain cells. Mirror neurons, located in the inferior frontal gyrus and superior temporal sulcus, help us to understand and simulate the actions, intentions, and emotions of others. A crucial component of empathy, the anterior cingulate cortex, located in the medial aspect of the prefrontal cortex, is involved in recognizing and responding to the emotional states of others and regulating emotions. The insular, situated deep in the brain, is related to the perception and representation of bodily states and emotions and allows us to empathize with pain. Additionally, the medial prefrontal cortex, located at the front of the brain, is involved in understanding the mental states of others and self-awareness. All of these processes are essential for empathy, enabling us to accurately perceive and react to the emotions of others. The human brain is an incredibly complex and powerful organ. It is responsible for our ability to think, reason, learn, create, and interact with the world around us. Despite its complexity, there are a few key characteristics that make the human brain unique. The top five things that separates the human brain from every other creature, language, imagination, self-awareness, problem solving, and empathy. These traits have enabled us to become the most advanced species on Earth and have allowed us to create and explore in ways that no other species can. Hi there! Thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoyed this content, we have a lot more great content on our YouTube channel that we think you'll love. 
So, if you're looking to boost your mental health, grow as a person, or learn more about psychology, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. We'll see you in the next video.